Hello everyone, welcome to Apparel Wins channel. Today let's talk about different kinds of embroidery techniques. Embroidery is a stitching design on a fabric. Normally we stitch yarn to create a design. Or you can use curls, beads and sequins as well. It can be widely used in all kinds of garments or accessories like dress, skirts, denims, uh, caps uh, and so on. It seems very simple, but there are five types of embroidery and techniques that I want to introduce to you today. First uh, is the traditional embroidery. The traditional embroidery looks like this. It just uses normal yarn to create a design. And then the second one is called the 3D embroidery. Instead of just using the yarn, uh, we created a 3D effect of uh, embroidery design like this. So it kind of pop out. There is an ever increasing demand for 3D designs over the past few years, especially with the caps and hats. Attention, do not put the 3D embroidery on the delicate and a slippery fabric because 3D embroidery is quite hard. The whole pieces will be ruined if the fabric is too soft. Thick and stable fabric is preferred. The third one is what we call the applique uh, embroidery. It refers to a larger piece of fabric sewing. This is an example of it. So this is the applique embroidery. You can pick any kind of material like a leather, denim, velvet, cut it in a certain shape and sew it onto the garment. The stitching on the outside edges of fabric made the pattern look more clear, like this. And then on the same garment, right here, is what we call the Chanel embroidery. Chanel embroidery is a texture embroidery that's created by a forming loop stitched on the fabric to create a raised textured surface just like the carpet. Last but not least, is what we call the sequin embroidery. Instead of using yarns, we use a dish like a bead to create a pattern that is easy and super cool way to add that extra zing on your garment. There are most often made from plastic. You can get different shapes, sizes and colors of sequins to make your design sparkle. A couple of things you need to be aware of when trying to use embroidery. The first one is the raw material for embroidery is those soft and very stretchy fabric. Trust me, they don't get along with each other. Second, Embroidery pattern cannot be too tiny. The third one is embroidery cannot create pattern with guardian colors. Well, another very important thing about embroidery is the cost of it. How to estimate the cost of an embroidery? The cost is closely related to the size color of your pattern and the type of embroidery that you choose. For example, right here, if you choose more color and if you pick a bigger size of pattern, the price is going to be so much higher. So the more complicated, the more expensive. So that's everything for today. I hope this video is helpful for you. Comment below if you have any questions or anything that you want to tell us about embroidery. Please remember to keep subscribing our YouTube channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!